Some things in life can be difficult. For example, waking up early or uh, doing your taxes. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. But um, making a Car XY printer out of Creality CR10 S5 shouldn't be one of them. Hi, I'm John for Proper Printing and in this video I'm going to make a Car XY printer out of a CR10 S5. At least that's what I hope to achieve. The reason for this video is because I want to print large things out of difficult materials like ABS or nylon because I'm going to make rims for a car. But in order to do that yeah, I need an enclosure. I already made an enclosure for my CR10 and for my M3. And they had one problem. The problem with those enclosures is that they became pretty large for its build size. Well, you can imagine the size of this enclosure. It will start here and end up all the way here. And that's the minimum. So that's pretty big and it's going to be high as well. Well, if I make a Core XY printer out of this printer, then I can uh, keep this bed somewhere here or within this frame. The idea I'm having is a bit different than the Car XY modifications already out there. One thing I noticed is that the usual Car XY printers, they lift up the bed. They have a pretty sophisticated uh, belt driving mechanism on top for the X and Y uh, movement. I still think that that's too difficult. So I want to make it even simpler. I don't know if this is going to be better. But if it works, then this will be the simplest Core XY upgrade out there. The idea is to uh, put this bed into a steady position. And instead of this bed going back and forth, I will let this whole country go back and forth over this rail here and here. And these lower beams already have those uh, V-slots. Hopefully I'm able to use the rollers which are moving this bed back and forth. I can hear, still hear you thinking, well, if you're going to move the bottom of this gantry back and forth, then this whole gantry will do this. And I think it will. So therefore, I have three stages in this video. Stage one is trying to make this thing move on this lower beam. If it turns out that this is too floppy, then we go to stage two. The cool thing is that these two profiles aren't needed anymore. So I can use the profiles for this bed to mount here on the top, at the top and uh, make some, uh, some vertical beams here. So it will be driven on the bottom and hopefully it will go into parallel. And even if that isn't working, then I can do a similar approach as what I've done with my dual Z axis. Yeah, make a belt on here, drive it at the top side as well. I hope stage two will be enough. Well, stage one would be awesome if that's enough, of course. I have uh, made a design and I've printed this out of this uh, yellow ABS. This is mounted to the bottom of this axis. And these uh, three holes here, they will hold those uh, V-slot wheels. And this should slide along this axis here. So I'm going to mount this and see if it fits. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I started with this flimsy design. I've used this to, uh, to see if everything fitted. And um, yeah, I removed the bed. <laughs> uh, I mounted this on it. And um, yeah, it was a bit, uh, a bit floppy. But um, remember that I said it was for stage one, two and three. Well, I think I'm at stage one. Okay, it was like this and now it's like that. Yeah, this is sick. I just have posted a small teaser on Twitter because I was stunned by how well this works. And I got one question if um, the gantry will not be wobbly if the C height will be high. Well, I put this gantry all the way on top. This is still the ABS and I want to use better materials. I have to put some tension on it. That's nice that I can just reuse the parts of the bed. This is really inc <laughs> afraid that I smack myself in the head with this. 
<laughs> Way better than I thought it would be. Okay, I think I will um, just uh, keep it like this. <laughs> I'm going to do some minor changes on this and print it out of a better, better material, better looking material. And I'm going to focus on mounting the bed. I've made a bracket for this motor so it can fit here and on the other side with the bearing. I've shortened this 8mm rod and I can couple it to the motor. And on the other side with this uh, bearing. The only thing that I have to add are these pulleys, but I have bought 6mm wide pulleys and I need 9mm, so I'm still waiting for these parts. And I've done a couple of tweaks to these parts and uh, these parts as well. In the meantime, when I'm waiting for those parts and the new prints, I have to find a way to fixate the bed on here and I was uh, thinking of doing something very fancy with three point bed leveling system make something cool and uh, dedicate a whole video towards that I think I have a much simpler approach which will work as well hopefully everything fits I have this original plate so I can mount it wherever I like so I have made some corner pieces and I can just yeah screw it on there By the way, I have one tip for you. I've printed all the temporary parts out of this uh, yellow ABS. I found out that if you are making prototypes and printed it with the goal of testing it and see if everything fits, that's what 3D printing is often used for. The tip is print it out of a light color. Best what you can do is uh, white PLA. So you can just use an ordinary pencil and make uh, annotations on it. If you go to a client or a customer and you have your design and you want to discuss your design and you printed it out of white PLA, you can um, just discuss it, use it as a 3D notepad and it looks cool and you have all your annotations directly where you want them. This bed is now completely fixed, but it must be somewhat adjustable. And I have a great idea for that, I think. My idea is to move the whole bed leveling system to these four points. I was thinking of designing something for that, so some kind of thumbwheel was... Uh, but um, I'm going for a way simpler approach. I'm going to use two of these M5 by 45 screws, and I'm going to use this spring. I can just mount it. If I'm doing this for all four corners, then I can basically adjust the bed. But I'm going to put a lot of weight on it. Well, the printer itself will. So I don't want this springiness. I will place another bolt here on the other side. Then I can adjust this side where the spring is. So I can tighten or loosen it. Then I can screw this right side. So I'm not going to tighten it. Otherwise I will push it even further down. There are two nuts on this side. Now right now it's, uh, it's still springy. So if I tighten this nut here and then the other nut on the top. It's a bit more work to level this bed in this way. But once it's leveled, I think it will remain level. So the only thing that I have to do is adjust its zeroing position or use a build touch. Okay, I finally received all the parts that I've ordered. Well, all the parts, just these uh, pulleys. <laughs> and I've printed everything out of polycarbonate. I'm so happy that I managed to print out of polycarbonate. This material is definitely not easy to print. But once you get it right, it's, it's very strong. So it definitely pays off. You can put an, yeah, you, you can feel that it's a lot stiffer. This is the same material as used with uh, safety glasses and uh, bulletproof windows. It looks dope, especially with all these uh, black parts. So I'm going to disassemble this and uh, put this stiffer parts on it.
It's really that simple. This was the best case scenario and <laughs> the best case scenario happened. This means that um, somewhere down the road something must go wrong. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to connect the sprinter to the main board, see if I can get this axis to move and if I can get it to its homing position. If the cables are long enough, I hope that they are, then I think I will start with the homing position here at the front so I don't have to modify the firmware. I think I found the best position for the electronics box. <laughs> just here at the end. There's room enough. All cables are just long enough so even this can go all the way to the front. I won't move it that far. Well, I can disconnect the wire motor of course. All cables are long enough even if this goes all the way up and even the pitch of the feet of this uh, electronics box falls exactly within uh, those grooves. The only drawback is that I had to put the homing switch here at the back. Now I can make I can make it longer just for testing. Or keep in mind that this is just a temporary solution. I have to build a whole enclosure, but I just um, am going to connect it so I can test if this thing will print. And it looks like it can, yes, it does reach here all the way to the front. Nice. Everything is connected. I'm going to turn on the printer and see if this thing will home. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> this thing, if it's going to home. It should go to the front, if I'm correct. When not, I have to turn off that printer as quick as possible. I haven't done anything with the wiring or with the firmware. So uh, let's see what it does if I'm going to auto home. Oh, this is so sick. Okay, I want to do this again. <laughs> okay, move Y. <laughs> okay, again, home. <laughs> I think it's time for a test print. Okay, I consider this as a success. My lucky dice. This was the standard size and I have uh, scaled it up a bit. My first attempt failed. This stock extruder wasn't able to keep up with the speed and it uh, started skipping. I have uh, lowered the print speed by a lot, but um, it works. With this simple modification, I've turned this printer into a Core XY printer and it can just print. It's all reversible. I haven't, I haven't had to modify anything. If you want to try this mod yourself, I'm going to place all the files on my website like I do with all my other designs. So you can download them from there. Yeah, I'm surprised by how easy this mod is and how well that it works. I'm starting to get confidence that, uh, that this printer it will be able to print the rims for the car. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making this one. Still a long way to go to get this printer ready for printing rims for the car. This is already one step into that direction. If you want to see more and you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. There's still a lot I'm going to do with this machine. Please hit that like button and share this video if you like to. It really helps. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.